and it was during this match in footage that I can't show because I'll be demonetized that she pulled a bloody tampon from her tights and stuck it in Tuna's mouth as a form of offense. A video of the spot was posted online and of course- What's good y'all, it's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out wrestling moments that caused huge drama, top 10 wrestling. Now, wrestling is a, is a interesting uh, business, as you can say, with all businesses and all forms of entertainment, the behind the scenes workings sometimes don't go as smoothly and sometimes there is drama that ensues. That's just part of just life in general. You're gonna always find situations where drama arises you know and it may not even be something that you're looking for it just happens because people disagree with certain things and you know it, it turns into a whole big deal sometimes so we're gonna check out some of these infamous wrestling moments that you know just became drama filled appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel you guys are amazing Let's do the damn thing, man. Wrestling world is truly like no other. <laughs> hundreds upon hundreds of wrestling companies all around the world with thousands of wrestlers, with thousands of matches, with endless moments. It's an industry that never truly sleeps and something is always happening. And today, we're talking about a few moments in wrestling that split the wrestling world and caused major drama. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe right now, right this second, if you haven't already, because mm -hmm. I know the majority of you watching aren't already subscribed and let's get in to the video in nxt Gigi dolan has found a great place for herself she had a great run as part of the toxic attraction alongside mm -hmm. mandy rose and jc jane the latter of whom she held the nxt women's tag team titles with twice and now, with the departure of Mandy Rose from WWE and the breakup of Toxic Attraction, mm -hmm. Gigi Dona is now in the middle of a singles babyface run where she's really starting to come into her own and the future of her in the WWE is definitely very exciting. Gigi Dolan joined the WWE in 2021, but she's been wrestling since 2015, and she had a fairly eventful indies run. She debuted in March 2015, and throughout her time on the indies, she'd wrestle under her real name of Priscilla Kelly. Priscilla mm. wrestled for various promotions all across the country and world while working the indies, such as AEW, MLW, DDT, TJPW, oh, Shine, damn. and she even competed in the WWE May Young Classic. But it was a moment in 2018 involving Priscilla Kelly that had the whole wrestling world talking. In December 2018, Priscilla Kelly wrestled a match against Tuna for the Los Angeles-based wrestling promotion Suburban Fight. And it was during this match in footage that I can't show because I'll be demonetized that she pulled a bloody tampon from her tights and stuck it in Tuna's mouth as a form of offense. A video of the spot was posted online and of course went viral and Hey, yo, whoa, 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 whoa. You know, sometimes wrestlers, they, they go over their matches, you know, they, they talk about their matches before the match, before they go out there. There ain't no way you just casually. Yeah, so I'm going to reach into my tights, pull out this tampon and stuff it in your mouth. And you just willingly say, yeah, let's do that. That sounds like it's going to be crazy. No, no. That's all I got to say. No and set the wrestling world ablaze. Gail Kim, in response to the video, posted the following. I'm seeing this post of a women's match that got disgusting, and I'm not going to repost it because it's seriously a disgrace. Why? Whoever thought that was a spot that was going to get a pop and was worth it? No. no. How about telling a story in the ring with your wrestling instead? Road Dog tweeted about it saying, This stuff is the reason some people despise our industry. It's got nothing to do with taking life seriously. It's about dignity and personal pride. She obviously has none and of course jim Cornette got his two cents in the following <laughs> people want my take so i'll give it direct to you i expect nothing else from outlaw <laughs> mod show wrestlers male or female because none of you can work 
but to defend your bullshit by starting, well, it's all fake. That's why you, Dick Guy, and others are killing wrestling. Fuck you. <laughs> However, on the opposite end, she had people in the industry defending her. Tommy Dreamer tweeted, Dear Priscilla Kelly, I get it. It's Mr. Socko female cousin, Miss Stinkflow, whatever it takes to entertain. You, my dear, are hardcore. And Priscilla herself took to Twitter to defend the spot, saying, Hey guys, you know it's all fake. 21 plus show with a bar. Can't take life so serious all the time. Call me what you will. As well as, a penis is funny and awesome. A vagina is disgusting and trashy. Hashtag equality. No, the penis stuff is kind of weird too. I'm just being honest with you. I get it. They do it in the indies, but it, it when you see the clips, it, you just be like, it's. It, I get it. I get it. I understand. We we we're talking about we came from the attitude there, and there was some questionable segments and stuff like that in wrestling. It's always been like that, but at the same time, it's just we've gotten to that point. Especially, you know, way we are now in the world and how people are so desensitized to stuff. It's all about up in the ante now. It's how can we shock people more? That's crazy. But he obviously referring to people like Joey Ryan and the spots they do. And safe to say, while this spot did divide the wrestling world and cause drama online, it clearly didn't hurt Priscilla's career because once again, she would go on to become Gigi Dolan in the WWE. Which is crazy, bro. But hey, I'm... <laughs> Sure, she won't do that spot no more. Um, WWE's not gonna let her. But it's just crazy how one spot just changed. <laughs> you know, you know, changed things for her potentially going forward. Some you could say maybe for the better. Maybe it got eyes on her, more eyes on her. I'm sure it did or whatnot. But at the same time, it, it definitely brought some negativity. But I, I think she's moved past that point. <laughs> oh man. In 2015, the Dudley Boys officially returned to the WWE. Mm -hmm. They had been away from the company for more than a decade and away from the WWE as Team 3D in TNA. And after a Bubba Ray Dudley appearance in the 2015 Royal Rumble match as a surprise entrant, himself and Devon would return together as the Dudley Boys in the summer of that same year and start wrestling again full time for the company. And while the return moment was awesome and the feud they had with the New Day was fun, the Dudley Boys' return did fall a little flat. They definitely and a year did. later, they would both depart the company as in-ring active wrestlers, as D Vaughn would work behind the scenes and transition into a producer role for the WWE, and Bobby Ray Dudley would depart the company entirely mm -hmm. and return to the independent scene and return back to working under the name of Bully Ray. He would debut with Ring of Honor in 2017 and would align himself with the Briscoes, winning the Ring of Honor trios titles. He would work the All In event while working for Ring of Honor, and he was there in Ring of Honor during 2019, which was a very turbulent year for Ring of Honor, where there was a lot of drama surrounding and within the company, and one of the big dramas that took place with Ring of Honor directly involved Bully Ray. On the 3rd of June 2019, a Twitter user posted a thread detailing his experience at a recent Ring of Honor show. Okay, story time. I avoided saying anything until the show was over to avoid any further issue, but this honestly soured my Ring of Honor experience in a big way. Honest to God story that can be backed up by about half a dozen people. Show starts. Dark match is some local girls fighting. Allure interferes at the end. Velvet and I exchange words along with the rest of the allure. Nothing crazy. Mandy Leon spits on me from the side. Not preferable, but I honestly don't care. Segment ends. Side note, I love and respect like 99% of all wrestlers. I honest to God never tried to make the show about me, get myself over etc. My rule of thumb is to boo the bad guys and cheer the good guys. It's rare that I'll flip the script, but I always decide to go along with the show. Some opening match happens, wildly unimportant. Second match occurs and it's a local v local. Allure interferes at the end. I'm mapping off to all the girls for no reason other than they're the bad guys. Boo, you're trash, get lost, no one wants you here, etc. At some point, Velvet Sky seemingly loses her cool and is challenging me to come in the ring. Tells me to suck it, calls me a pussy, etc. No problem, get your heat. Mm -hmm. She calls me a virgin. I remind her she has sex with that fat turd bully Ray. Call him a <laughs> tramp stamp trio. End of segment. She goes to the back, fast forward about five minutes and I get a tap on the shoulder. Hey, we're with security and need to talk to you about an incident that occurred. Immediately, I think of the allure stuff, but think that maybe Mandy got in trouble for spitting slash face palming me. Then I kind of think this is a joke and look around. No signs of a joke from my buddies or crew. I'm super perplexed and think there's maybe miscommunication because nothing so far was a big deal at all. 
I oblige and follow security. Security takes me legit backstage. I'm still perplexed by the entire thing and was honestly very hesitant to follow them because they kept saying we need to talk to you about an incident. No details behind, just leading me into the back. What's happening? What's waiting for me? Get to the back. Yeah, it definitely like you about to get whacked. <laughs> we need to talk to you about an incident. Come with us, sir. No. Tell me what it is and maybe I'll come. If not, no. Like I said, we need to talk to you about an incident. Come with us, sir. <laughs> I'm sure they said it so calmly, too. Gotta be careful with that, guys. <laughs> and security is just asking me to be patient. What's going on? Just sit tight. But what's up? Hold tight. Time was slowing down, but this was all happening so fast. Hold tight. Suddenly, Bully Ray comes out from a back room. Full on gear since he was in the opening segment of the show, and he looks pissed. Much bigger than me, so I'm kind of taking a step back on this here. Security backs off, and it's just us two. He said, hey, I heard there was an incident tonight with you and some of the girls. Uh, yeah, I guess. I'm so lost. So here's the deal. You're done talking down to them. You need to treat them with respect. Don't be saying anything you wouldn't say to your mom. You got it? I wasn't trying to act tough. I was legit being intimidated with purpose, and I wasn't about to get kicked out during match three, so I just bit the bullet and said, sure, yes sir, yeah, I understand. Yup. He said, end of convo. Go be a fan. Security led me back to my seat. That's the end in regards to a timeline of events. The whole thing is still completely unbelievable and surreal, honestly. I've gone to live events for 15 years and been following wrestling for 22 years. Never once heard of something like this happening. That's the next crazy. day, Ring of Honor released a statement saying they had launched an internal investigation into the events, and Ring of Honor general manager Greg Garland issued the following statement to post wrestling. Ring of Honor has always taken a fan first approach, with fan experience being at the forefront of all our live events. We consider this to be very serious and we'll be conducting an internal review over the next 48 hours to determine the appropriate Damn. actions. Bully Ray also took to social media to defend his case. He said he never intimidated the fan and said that he handled it the exact opposite way most people would assume. He also stated that other fans can confirm that the fan did cross the line with both female and male talents and said that he's guilty of defending three women who needed defending, not by being a bully, but by being a man. On July 20th, Ring of Honor would release yet another statement, having concluded the investigation. They stated the following, We have now concluded our internal investigation into the events that occurred in Portland on June 2nd and have taken appropriate action with all parties involved. Our code of honor, which calls for sportsmanship, respect and honor in and outside of the ring is a core value of this company and one we will continue to strive to uphold. To all of our loyal and dedicated fans, we apologize for the incident that, that transpired and we encourage all of our fans to continue attending our events. Furthermore, we promise to continue delivering the best wrestling and the best live experience on the planet. In adherence of Ring of Honor policy, we will not comment further on these hmm. matters. In short, nothing happened to Bully Ray. Ah, uh, that's crazy. So pretty much, <laughs> he got intimidated. <laughs> like, hey man, you need to, sh you need to shut up. <laughs> you getting disrespectful, bro. Chill out. We we'll give you the beats and then kick you out. That's and it's crazy coming from him. You know, him being who he is and what he was all about in ECW. And then once again, it's a different time period. You could say a lot of stuff. You could do a lot of stuff back then that you definitely can't do now or shouldn't be saying now. But that's a very interesting approach that he took, you know. That is very interesting. In August 2017, it was announced that Leo Rush had been signed to a WWE developmental contract. Up until this point, Leo Rush had been a star of the independent circuit and was ready to make a big wave in the WWE. He would start working in NXT where he would engage in a feud with the Velveteen Dream, who was his former partner on the independent scene. But very quickly into his WWE run, Leo Rush would get embroiled in a Twitter controversy and would start getting cooked by the rest of the WWE locker room. On October 29th, 2017, Leo Rush went on Twitter vaguely. to make a joke about Emma following her release from the WWE, stating that she was not ready for Asuka, a reference to the fact that she had just recently lost to Asuka mere days on pay-per-view before she got her release. Oh. He stated, I guess these are the things that happen when you're truly not ready for Asuka. An obvious joke, but this caused a lot oh. of backlash from WWE superstars and veterans. X-Pac tweeted, sad to see this from you. 
Bray Wyatt tweeted, you ain't gonna make it here with the Wolves kid. Even independent wrestlers, Tessa Blanchard took to Twitter to call him tacky. Don't think you can talk, Tessa. <laughs> and members of the NXT locker room would also take to Twitter to criticize Leo. Peyton Roy stated, wow kid, didn't you just get here? Professionalism goes a long way. Leo Rush on the same day would tweet out an apology for making this joke towards Emma, directing Emma in the tweet. And this apology didn't really go down well either. So busy trying to be a comedian, you forgot you're a dumbass. That one Damn. was from Dash Wilder. And yeah, as you can probably tell, he had immense heat in the locker room yeah. following this. Leo Rush would actually manage to stick around in the WWE for a lot while longer though. He managed to get a Cruiserweight title reign under his belt as well. He was released in WWE in 2021 and has gone on to work for AEW, MLW, New Japan and various other wrestling companies. Well, and that was a kind of uh, an abrupt end. <laughs> I wasn't expecting the video to end like that. But, I mean, yeah, it, I, the timing probably wasn't that good. The timing of that was probably not that good. Because definitely, you know, are getting released. And then that being said, it does come off kind of like, uh, yeah, that comes off like an asshole. But once again... Hey, you, you kind of got to be careful with what you say online because it can ultimately give you some unnecessary heat in the locker room, man. So comment down below. Let me know. I, I, I really want to ask a question. And I know some of you sickos out there are going to give me the answer that I expect you to get give. But which y'all be down? <laughs> if there was a spot, you had to agree to it. To take a tampon from Gigi Dolan. That's what she go by now. <laughs> Would y'all take that spot? Take a tampon straight to the to the mouth. Pause. Would y'all do that? Just just answer honestly. If you say no, all right, you you're not feeling it. If you say yes, I probably am gonna judge you a little bit. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> You a sicko. I know some of y'all are going to say yes. Don't just be honest with yourself. Just be honest. If y'all would, go ahead. Comment down I would. And we're all going to judge you together collectively. <laughs> but I appreciate all love and support. Road to 150K. I'm still young. Speedy YouTube. Wrestling champion of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.